claims players on an opposing basketball team threatened him and chased him after finding out he's gay. An Eastern Kentucky high school basketball player has shared his story with a national blog, and now school leaders are investigating. Sean Moody joins us now from the live desk with this story. Sean? Hey there, Amber. This is a story we've been working on since it first hit the internet last week. Dalton Maldonado, an Eastern Kentucky high school basketball player, told the blog focusing on gay issues in sports that he was threatened after being outed at a basketball tournament here in Lexington. The blog claims players from Bryan Station High School chased Maldonado's bus after the game. Now school officials are investigating to find out if what was reported in that article actually happened. Outsports.com first ran a story back on April 1st. It says in late December, Maldonado's Betsy Lane High School basketball team was playing in a tournament in Lexington when word got out that he was gay. After the game, the article says a player from the other team, now identified as Bryant Station High School, called him a derogatory word. He says he was forced to come out to the rest of his team. The article says players from the other team threatened Maldonado as he boarded the team bus, even chasing the bus as it headed back toward the team hotel. Lexington police said they don't have any record of a chase. They say they did receive a call from the Betsy Lane coach saying one of the opposing players said, quote, we know where you're staying, but police said they didn't take an official report. In a podcast recorded without sports a few days ago, Maldonado stood behind that story. Of course, some people have uh, been skeptical to it, but then I just, I'm just like, ask my team, ask my coach. They was all there. They all know it was true. The story has since been picked up by both national and even international news outlets. Outlets. Late this afternoon, Bryan Station High School principal Mike Henderson told us Fayette County Public Schools dispute the article's version of events. When the story appeared and raised allegations of harassment and discrimination directed toward a single player, we were shocked and we began our investigation. We're still gathering information this time, but we have found several gross inaccuracies that cast doubt on the legitimacy of the story. Now, Maldonado told Outsports he's received support from across the world. We've been making calls on this story for days, and we've started getting some responses today. Both the Kentucky High School Athletics Association and the superintendent of Floyd County Schools, where Betsy Lane is located, said they were unaware of this, uh, the, the accusations of the car chase, until that article was posted online last week. They say they're investigating, trying to get to the bottom of what happened. At the live desk, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. The Bryan Station High School principal said they would announce the results of their investigation along with Floyd County Public Schools when they're complete.